When we're gathering information from PowerShell, or doing anything for PowerShell for that matter, when we're gathering information, we output data ultimately to the screen, right? So if I do a get service, it's going to output the data to the screen. Well, what's happening is we get those service objects, we pass them down the pipeline. At the end of the pipeline is this implied out host commandlet, which then takes the objects that are in the pipeline, looks up how they should be formatted, and then formats the output. And in, it uses default formatting. And it, for get service, its default formatting is to format in a table with the status, the name, and the display name being shown. Now, we know there's way more to these service objects than just these three, right? In fact, we can prove that by doing get service and piping it to get member. And remember, get member gives us all of the properties, methods, aliases, events, anything that's related to that service controller object. And up here under type name, you'll see which type we're dealing with. We're dealing with service controller or services. And then you'll see all of our alias properties, events, methods, standard properties, script methods, everything that's related to that. So all these properties are things that can be displayed, but by default, PowerShell doesn't display them. It only displays what it's set to display by default. Now, we can change that by using format commandlets. So we can change what's displayed and how it's displayed. And remember, we've already shown using in other videos how you can use select object to select different properties to display them. We can do the same thing using our format commandlets. So let's, uh, let me show you what we're talking about. Let's do a get service and I want to display the status, so I'm going to pipe this to format table. Now, format table is what gives me my table formatting, and then I can set the properties that I want. And this is technically a positional parameter, so I don't need to set it, but we can anyway. So let's say I want to display the name of the service. I want to display the status of the service. And I want to display the startup type of the service. And we're going to find that right here as uh, start type. So I'm going to do start type. And then I'm going to pipe that to more. And so that's going to display now the name of the service, the status of the service, and the start type for the service. So now I'm using format table to control what I want to see. Now I can also use format table to control how I want to see it. So I can change the order, which I did. Remember, our default one is going to display the status first and then the name. So I changed the order and I changed the columns that I want to see. So that's using format table. Now, there are a bunch of other things that we can do with format table. For example, we can choose to auto size. And if I do the auto size, go ahead and filter it through or pipe it through more what it's going to do and you're not going to see a big difference here because of the uh, type of objects that we're displaying but it's going to resize these columns to best fit and so I mean you can specify uh, precise width but if we do auto size it'll put these as best fit and when you do that it's going to take a little bit longer here's a great example this is the name and then the status and then right here, you'll see where we've sized to fit automatic. Another common one that we'll do with a format table is we'll use the option to group by. And what that does is that creates a group heading. Let me do a group by, and I want to group things by startup type. So I'm going to do start type, and we're going to pipe that through more. And now what's going to happen is every time it gets to a different start type, so you see here right here, start type manual, it'll display everything that has a manual start type, and then start type automatic. But notice here it goes back to manual. Well, what's happening is it displays the content in whatever order it was in, and the group by looks for wherever there's a change in how it's grouped. Now, if we're using group by, what we really need to do is we really need to sort objects first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to do sort object by 
start type. And what that'll do is that will sort first. So we're going to get all of our services, then we're going to sort them by start type. Then we're going to send them to format table, which will display their pro their name, their status, and their start type. It'll auto size the table, and it'll group by start type. So when we hit enter, here's our start type automatic. And let's page through everything that's automatic. Now here's everything that's start type manual. And we'll page through all of that and then start type disabled. Now you'll notice each one of these displays with different column widths and that's because the column widths are determined per table and technically each one of these is seen as a different table. Now you'll notice that it's auto sizing whether I use the auto size parameter or not. The auto size parameter really comes into value, and I don't use it a whole lot. It is something that a lot of people use. I don't use it a whole lot. It really comes into play when you do something that has, let's do this. Let's buy two properties, name and start type. This one actually formatted pretty tightly too. Some power or some versions of PowerShell and some commandless probably for that matter still. When you go to format as table, if you only do two items, it'll put one on one side and the other all the way over on the other side. And that's where that auto size parameter becomes really helpful. So if you want to see more about what get or what format table can do, we can do a get help on format table pipe that to more and you'll see some of the other options auto size display error expand group by hide table headers uh, repeat header show errors wrap will if something doesn't fit within the width of the table column wrap will roll it down to another line so there's lots of uses for format table because it gives us the ability to show the information that we want in the table format that we want but format table is only one of three format commands we can also use format list and format wide but we'll talk about those in another video